October day 26. So today I want to talk about how to say no without feeling guilty. Now for me, in my family, in my circle and everything, everybody say that I am like really, really straightforward and like I, I tell you though. I feel like a lot of times when people know that they really want to say no, they don't say no because you're thinking about the other person. But the way that I feel about it is, is I, I got to do... I gotta do what's best for me. I gotta, I gotta put me first. No is a complete sentence. I know it's not the easiest thing to start to say because a lot of times when you say no, people want you to back it up with a reason why. For me, um, after a while, very shortly, people understood that when I say no, it doesn't matter what comes after that no because it's still a no. You want, what, what people want is they want for you to explain to them why you're telling them no so that they can feel better about the no. When it's not your job to make them feel better about the no. It's about, it's your job to make yourself feel better knowing that you're not gonna put yourself in a position to be doing something that you really don't wanna do. I don't feel like it's mean to say no. I don't feel like it's mean to just say no. You could throw a thank you on the end for a little bit of razzle dazzle, but for me, if I wanna do it, it's no. It's two letters, N-O. It is not easy, especially when you are a people pleaser, which a lot of people are, it's definitely not easy when you are somebody who you want to make that person feel good or you, you don't want that person to be upset with you by saying no. I feel like if you say no to something that you truly don't want to do and somebody get upset with you because you said no, then that just shows how selfish that person is because you have to do what's going to be best for you because if that person don't want to do something with you, they're going to say no. So I feel like a lot of times people don't say no because they're too busy thinking about how the other person is going to react to the no. It, it is uncomfortable when you first start telling people no. It was on un, it was uncomfortable for me, but I've been saying it for so long. You you get used to it. You get used to putting you first. You get used to choosing you and in return people handle you differently because people know that if you want to do something, you're going to do it. If you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. They can't, you can't get pulled into peer pressure. There's plenty of adults that still deal with peer pressure. When you know how to say no, people can't, people can't use peer pressure against you because you're like, it's a no. I really don't care why. It's like people are like, oh, so do you want to go to the party? No. Why don't you want to go to the party? Because I don't want to go. They're not like, well, then, and then so now they're like, okay, well, now that sounds like you have an attitude, but that's the reason why. It doesn't really, I feel like I don't, an elaborate reasoning is not necessary, but sometimes, you know, it's okay to give people elaborate uh, reasonings like, why well, don't want to go to the party? I don't want to go to the party because that's not my type of scene. That's not the type of things that I like to do. I don't like to be at parties. Like for me personally, I don't like to go to clubs. So people are like, do you want to go to a club? No. I never even went to the clubs when I was like younger, younger. I never went to the clubs. That's just not my thing. I'm not interested in dressing up to be jam packed in a room and basically competing with other girls over some drunk D. And also don't um let nobody make you feel guilty for saying no. And if somebody tries to make you feel guilty for saying no, then you make them feel guilty for making you feel guilty for saying no. It's like, so you're upset with me because I'm saying no, but you're putting me in a position to say no because I'm telling you this is something that I don't want to do, especially if it's something that they know that you don't want to do or they know that you don't do and they're trying to just forcibly put you in that position because they want you to do it. It's like, do you want to get on this roller coaster ride? Me, no. Okay, well, just come on, get on the roller coaster ride. It's not going to be that bad. It's just like, no. Now you're trying to peer pressure me and we adults. That's some teenage shit. Don't do that. So yeah, so when it comes to saying no, you just kind of got to get out there and you got to do it. It definitely is going to feel uncomfortable in the beginning, but the more you use that word, the easier that word is going to come to you, the easier it's going to be for you to use that word. You just got to put you first. And putting you first, for me, it makes me not feel guilty about saying no. I don't even I don't even replay the scenarios in my head and I do that a lot. But the more you say it, people are going to handle you differently, I promise you, because you're setting boundaries. People don't like boundaries, but everybody who doesn't like boundaries, they always have their own boundaries that you're not able to cross. So people want you to not have no boundaries. People want you to feel like you're not going to say no to them. People want you to be able to, a lot of people want you to be able to extend yourself beyond belief for them when they're not going to reciprocate that. So you have to put you first because if you don't put yourself first who's gonna put you first huh who's gonna put you first mm. see y'all tomorrow God.